Hi, I'm Chris James, and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today, we're going to be doing something really different, and we're going to be reviewing the Magic Chef Air Fryer 5.6. So stay tuned. We're missing a piece of the puzzle. You start getting healthy, and you just become a better person. We need to start focusing more on the individual. Okay, everybody, so today I've decided that I'm going to do a review of this air fryer. I've been really interested in air fryers for a couple of years now, believe it or not, but I one of the reasons why I never got an air fryer is because when I even learned that they existed, I had just bought a deep fryer, and so I was just like, yeah, I'm not about to buy another fryer. Little did I know that the air fryer and the deep fryer, although they're kind of thought of to do the same thing, in my opinion, they don't actually do the same thing. There's benefits, pros and cons to both. So let's talk about a few of them. So first off, I wanna let you all know that this video is being sponsored by Magic Chef Air Fryer 5.6, but my thoughts are my own and I'm very excited to share my experience with you. Okay, so when I very first got the air fryer, I'm excited and I'm thinking about what am I gonna make first? The first thing that came to mind were mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I've been finding out about all the different species of mushrooms, the different textures and tastes and things you could do. And so I was like, yo, let's dive into some mushrooms. Now, I wanted to be, I wanted to play devil's advocate. I wanted to play both sides of the fence when I was using this thing. So I went into it completely blind with this first one. And I literally was just like, what would happen if I make the mushrooms the way I normally do and is, except this time, instead of putting them in a deep fryer, I just throw them in the air fryer. Let me tell you something. That was the biggest fail of my cooking career. I, am, I pride myself on my ability to cook. Um, I'm actually creating a cookbook right now. And it's one of the reasons why I was so happy about getting a chance to try out this product because, you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity to do something different with my cooking ability. Uh, no, I failed miserably, Okay. Um, it's not, it's not as simple as just doing the same thing that, that you would do with a deep fryer, except you just pop it in the air fryer. There is a slight learning curve. So that takes me to my first con, if you will, of using an air fryer is I would say there is a learning curve. There is, you do need to learn a new technique, um, for cooking, but with that also opens up the door, the opportunity for you to, you know, explore, try something different. I mean, honestly, the best way to learn how to cook is just to try and fail and try and figure stuff out and, you know, help you remember your recipes and you'll be able to put stuff together without even thinking about it. Now, the second con that I had, if you want to call it that, uh, what, what I would have to say is the actual build quality. I did expect the build quality to feel a little bit more premium. Everything works perfectly fine, but the actual feel of the product isn't as premium feeling as I would like. But other than that, everything was great. So now we're going to get into the benefits of an air fryer, and I'm really excited to share this with you. So after my miserable fail with my, <laughs> with my mushrooms, I wanted to make some fried plantains because I love fried plantains. It's a great snack. They're sweet. It, they're delicious. I do, this, I do the sweet fried plantains. And one of the things that I've been trying my best to figure out is how when I go to the Peruvian restaurants, they get their fried plantains, the, the texture and the taste, the way it is. It's, it's such a unique thing. It's clear to me that there's no way they're just popping it into their cast iron pan like I do. Um, but to my surprise, the air fryer actually gave me almost a restaurant quality fried plantain I didn't expect. So I was really, really happy about that. Uh, it, it brings the, the sugar out of it and then caramelizes it on top, which gives you a nice crisp uh, bite. But then also it's very soft and fluffy and warm on the inside. So uh, me and my friends enjoyed that quite a bit. Now, after the whole first mushroom debacle. I'm not a giver up. I'm not a quitter. So I went ahead and tried the mushrooms again. This time uh, I did a little research and I found a recipe that I liked where it would, where you would use like a wet batter. Okay. And so uh, I figured this was a great way to avoid having to use any type of oil in the air fryer if I used the wet batter and those mushrooms came out delicious. And the thing I noticed about it is 
it it changed the texture of them i don't even really know how to explain it maybe it was the combination of the batter and the fact that we were using the air fryer but the texture of the mushrooms was unlike anything that i had had previously um, that i personally had made at home so i loved that it was a, a meteor texture i really enjoyed that and i'm definitely going to be playing around with more mushrooms in the future another pro to using an air fryer and this is one of the things i was actually the most excited about is cleanup they're really easy to clean. Whereas with the deep fryer, obviously you've got that big old thing of grease, oil or whatever. And, um, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't like cleaning it. I don't like cleaning it. So it just sits there. It's, it's been sitting there. It's probably still got oil in it now. And one of the reasons I haven't used it in a while is because it's got all that old oil in it and I don't want to clean it out. So um, I was very excited. It, it, it comes apart really easy in two different pieces. You just clean the basket. I mean, it's super easy to clean. It's got like a nonstick coating or something like that. Really, really easy to clean. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. And then I guess the last major thing that I noticed with using the air fryer was cook times. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily faster than using a deep fryer. But what I will say is that if you, if you look at the overall setup time, like if your deep fryer has to be cleaned or if it has to be, you know, filled up with oil, I mean, the, the, the air fryer is really, really fast. It's very convenient. And uh, one of the things that my focus is on, especially when it comes to uh, eating healthy, because I do cook a lot at home, but I don't want to be in the kitchen for a long time, I, I want to keep my meals under 30 minutes to make. And so I think that the air fryer will allow me to have some, some, you know, some different types of foods um, and, and also keep the cook time down because you don't really have to watch it. It's got a timer on it. You just, you know, once you figured out the timing and everything like that, you just put it in there for whatever time you want at whatever temperature you want, you set it and forget it. So my genuine opinion about it is that, uh, I think the air fryers are cool. I definitely plan on using it, playing around with it more. Uh, if you guys are interested in trying one of these bad boys out, the air fryer, 5.6 they're actually giving me a discount code for you all to to use it will be in the description box of this video uh, so you can get a little discount on it and try it out for yourself and you guys already know how i am i don't i don't promote a product i don't care if they gave it to me for free i don't care if they were paying me i don't care who it is i'm not going to promote a product that i don't believe in uh you know so get an opportunity to get my hands on it try it and actually have a good uh, interaction with it meant a lot for this review because otherwise we'd be on the other side of the fence so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and as always the application of knowledge is power and i will see you guys next time